So, really quick, another random video. Um, what I've got here is the, the SOEX 01M dosimeter. It is a radioactivity indicator. Uh, I'm not a doomsday or anything like that, but I'd like to know what's going on out there. And uh, I know there's some people with some dosimeters around me that are picking up some pretty high measurements. Um, source uh, is debated, but... Anyway, uh, when the jet stream is kind of on the verge of my area, they're, they're picking up a lot of high background radioactivity levels. So I thought I'd pick one of these up. First off, I wanted to build one from an Arduino, but the, the HV, the detection tube, was uh, kind of prohibitive in cost compared to just picking one of these 01Ms up. Buy these off of eBay. Uh, I've already had it out of the box and set up and running, but it comes in a really nice box. These things... Uh, I think they're out of Russia, if I remember right. Um, can't remember the. I'll have to look that up. Really, really nice. Quite impressive. Very similar to Apple products for boxing. Uh, comes with a. Actually, got two manuals. They're both pretty much the same. Uh, my bill and right in the box was a. Uh, from the supplier was how to switch it over to English, but. Um, not really much of an unboxing, but this is the unit. The fit and finish of the plastic is not the best. The battery hatch, you can hear it, is loose when you shake it around, but whatever. It, it, these things are really, really low cost. This is, there's still enough money, but uh, there was enough people that said they work good, so we'll, we'll see if we can get the, uh, get the unit to fire up here for us. I obviously shouldn't press buttons as often, but I get click happy. And maybe it's not going to power up. There we go. Just got to hold it a couple of more seconds. Or maybe I have a problem. Hmm. Maybe got to hold it a little longer. Let's try that. Maybe not that long. Hmm. Well, Interesting. It was working fine a little while ago. Maybe I shouldn't have shook it around. Hmm. I'll cut the video and come back. Maybe I'll try popping the batteries out and see what's going on. It was fine a little while ago. Interesting. Good to know. Anyway, I'm going to pause this. Well, I can't explain that, but the minute I shut the camera off and hit power, it powered right up. So, I... I'll play around with that and I'll report back when I do some measurements. <clears throat> anyway, the controls are really, really basic. The display is pretty basic. I don't have a radiation source handy here. Just thought I'd show how it is right out of the box. I'm going to test it. I'll uh, go pull one of my smoke detectors and pull the cover off and see if I can pick that up. I suspect I can. I already took this to my AC filter for the house and I was able to pick up uh, increased levels of background radiation from that. Not Nothing crazy, just enough that it was notable, which is uh, probably normal. Anyway, uh, I'm going to do some measurements as time goes on, and uh, I'll see uh, next rainstorm or next time the jet stream, jet stream takes a turn. We'll, uh, we'll see how this works, but for now, you can pretty much see uh, that's what you get. Uh, measurement uh, millisieverts an hour and uh, seems to be working good so uh, yeah I'll play around with that and I'm gonna see what I can measure and uh, talk again later